our last sunrise in the great state of Maine, our accommodations for the night were fitting. But before we left this state of beautiful coastlines, awesome lighthouses, and remembrances of my summer's past, there was one thing I had to do. So what are you about to do, man? All right, so I thought about before this trip that it would be cool to jump in the water up north and then jump in the water down south. So I guess I have to pony up and do the one up north. Horrible. All right. I think this is good enough. Legs are numb. All right. I got in. Maybe I didn't jump in, but my legs are numb. So. I don't want hypothermia the rest of the trip. Heading down Route 1 early in the morning. We only had a couple of miles before we hit the New Hampshire border. But one thing we had to look out for on Route 1 was all the construction. Dude, are you serious? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Suicidal road crews aside, we continued on to where Route 1 used to cross into New Hampshire. Well, the old Route 1 bridge in the Portsmouth, the border between Maine and New Hampshire, was right here and I shot it a couple years ago and I cut together something so you get to see what it looks like. over the Route 1 bypass bridge into New Hampshire, our first stop is the USS Albacore. Launched from Portsmouth in August of 1953, she was used as a research sub with an emphasis on speed and maneuverability. Pretty damn insane that they, uh... Is that comfy? No, it's scary. I looked everywhere! There is no Kaiser Sose! Ow! This is where the captain hung out and played poker. More sleeping things. You feel like a little kid in these things. You just want to touch everything. This a little squawk box. You don't. It's going to set it off. Awesome. <laughs> I'll you teach you. Get in here. What we're gonna do is come along the beach here, move starboard 20 knots. Bridge Con, this is the captain. I have a con. 
prepare the bridge for submerged operations. Take a large pepperoni. My grandpa used to tell me that if you're on a submarine, the craziest thing about everyone on a submarine is that they all have to know how to run the submarine. There's no engineer versus chef. Everybody knows everything, just in case somebody drops dead. Decommissioned in 1972, she was towed back to Portsmouth in 1985. That's it, right? Yep. We're out. And designated a National Historic Landmark in 1989. All right, so this moxie, it's a New England drink. The New Englanders love moxie. I'm gonna try it. Ready? Boxy. Distinctly different. Do you want to try? That's not bad. It kind of tastes like soda after it's been sitting out. Like it's kind of... That's a good description. Like it's a little flat. It's got a weird aftertaste. It does. Pretty good though, not my cup of tea, but pretty good. Next stop for John and I, Thorvald's Rock. So what do you think of Thorvald's Rock? Well, it's, uh, hey, it's obviously his rock. This is uh, Leif Erikson's brother's rock. Not Leif Erikson, the poor bastard that had to be his brother that no one ever heard about. It's supposed to be like his grave marker. Is it really? Mm -hmm. His only claim to fame is a rock. There's supposed to be runes on it. And uh, there's not, it's, it's just a rock with a couple bars over it. Thorvald Erikson, sorry, but uh, your claim to fame is a bit of a downer. But it looks like something I would do. Like, hey everybody, it's a Viking rock, and build a well around it, and put some bars, and be like, Really is, I swear to God. With Route 1 only running around 30 miles through New Hampshire, we quickly made it to the next state. We're out of New Hampshire. Now we're in Massachusetts. We're gonna try to do four states in one day on Route 1. If all goes according to plan, John and I will have driven through Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and we'll stay the night in Providence, Rhode Island. For the next couple of hours, John and I leisurely drove down Route 1 towards one of Massachusetts' best-known cities. Hi. Thank you. Boston. Where we crossed the Charles River on the Bunker Hill Bridge and got a little turned around. I guess this, this is one this way. Let's hope. <laughs> I think it was the other way. Was it? <laughs> yeah, I think we got off of one. <laughs> but a quick check of the GPS on my phone showed us we were going in the right direction. All right, we're good. We're on 93, 1, and 3. <laughs> on our way down Route 1 south of Boston, John and I noticed things starting to get a bit repetitive. Let's put 50 Starbucks in. Let's put 50 this, 50 that, 50 of the other thing. Do we really need a Dunkin' Donuts every two miles? It's ridiculous. We were in Maine where everything was untouched. And go further south, it's just, oh man, I don't know. It's just, it takes away from the human spirit a little, especially when you're on the road and you see the human spirit. You wanna to go to KFC tonight or Burger King? Let's, uh, why don't we hit Wendy's? Awesome. We're entering Rhode Island right now. That means four states in one day, all on Route 1. Our stop for the night, 
Providence, Rhode Island, one of the first cities established in the United States. Our accommodations, the Providence Biltmore Hotel, the swankiest place we stayed at the whole trip. My hotel rooms, I always require a big chair. Big chairs and big beds. 